cuties! Oh my god, I'm so happy about today's video because we are going to make the cutest vase ever. Seriously! <laughs> I'm in love with this vase and the best part is so easy to make, seriously. And I don't know, you will see, well you already saw it probably <laughs> from the beginning, but yeah. I'm in love. Let me know if you like this vase and let's sprinkle some cuteness in the world. It's what you do making me feel like I'm falling. And when you move in, I can hear my calling. I had these two bowls at home and I knew that I wanted to make a super duper cute project for you guys. So that's exactly what I'm doing. You're welcome. <laughs> so I'm gluing with my hot glue gun the two balls together to create my vase and if you want you can use a different type of glue that's fine push it together and now because i didn't like to see the the kind of line where the two balls touch i decided to add a super duper cute of course <laughs> a ribbon and i chose this bright pink ribbon and I'm just gluing it uh, exactly in the middle of the vase and I think I do think it gives a more finished and even cuter look <laughs> let me know what you guys think guys the best part of this vase that is so easy to make as you can see and you can be so creative you can use a different type of balls you can really personalize with different things and it will make a super duper cute home decor If you enjoyed the vibe, like and subscribe! Once you're done with the ribbon, we're gonna start with the fun part. At my craft store, I found this Polly McClay uh, miniature and these are sprinkles, which I love, love, love so much. When I saw them, I was like, yeah, I need to buy them because I know I'm gonna make something super cute. And so what I'm doing now, I'm just uh, using my Mod Podge and just painting it all over my vase and I'm sprinkling the sprinkles <laughs> sprinkling the sprinkles <laughs> what's another word putting the sprinkles i don't know you guys help me with my english <laughs> no but anyways i'm putting the sprinkles on the on the vase and i'm doing first the that's very important it's easy to make this project but you need to do it properly and don't worry i'm here to help you <laughs> no so basically you want to do one part first okay as i'm doing so put your mud polish put your sprinkles and then let it dry completely it might take i don't know maybe took one hour i can't remember but not too long in the meantime you can do something else you can you know watch my other youtube videos <laughs> you can learn how to make the strongest scented candle ever if you want i have the ultimate guide and i link it up here and uh, yeah so let it dry completely and then when it's completely dry you can go with with the other part and the reason for that is that you don't want to risk you don't want to take the risk to remove the sprinkles from the top part that you already did if the because you run the risk if the the, the mud posh is not is not dry completely so yeah make sure because i tried i tried to do it like straight away but then i realized no 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 i gotta wait and just wait make everything everything uh, like dry and then you can do the bottom part
guys these vase will make your room so much happier trust me it's so cute and the best part is that it's really versatile you could put inside you know i'm putting here i show you my polymer clay miniature that i'm using for my project but you can put whatever you want flowers and you could go crazy and do what guess what you could put some wax and create a candle i was thinking about that i didn't do it because i have a thousand of candles because you know i'm a candle maker <laughs> but yeah you could do that and look how cute it is i'm in love so guys thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you in my next super duper cuter project ciao guys it's what you're doing.